Hello, my merciful brothers and sisters. It is I, Mr. Mercy, coming at you with another video with some Overwatch gameplay. So, uh, this video is going to be uh, off cam because uh, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm a little bit sick. I'm still uh, suffering through a cold right now. But I want to get this video out uh, to talk about my experience with Season 6 of competitive play in Overwatch. Now, uh, if you guys remember recently, uh, I uploaded a video, probably, uh, I think it was like, maybe like a week or two after Season 6 started, uh, called The Sensitive Gu of Player's Guide to Toxicity. And in that video, I talked about how, you know, I threw the last five of my placements in Season 5, uh, didn't play Season 5 for the entire season. I just played my placements uh, like I said, through the last five of them, didn't care where I placed, and I just didn't touch competitive for the rest of the season after that. But I promised myself that I would actually play Season 6 uh, of competitive play in Overwatch, and I wouldn't, wasn't going to let toxicity uh, bother me, and that, that was my main goal for the season. Uh, was, it wasn't to reach a certain SR, it wasn't to uh, improve my aim, it wasn't to uh, have any sort of like you know, uh, improvement on the heroes, it was more, uh, me just trying to learn how to deal with toxicity better and, uh, not let it ruin my fun. So, uh, I've, I haven't played as much of Season 6 as I would have liked to have played, um, I think that's mainly because, uh, I was trying to find a group to play with, um, not necessarily because I was afraid of toxicity, um, because I found myself playing solo queue and not really, you know, having the toxicity upset me. Um, what was upsetting me about, about the toxicity in Season 6 wasn't what was being said and it wasn't hurting my feelings or anything, it was that it was tilting everyone and everyone was playing poorly um and uh and, and you know we couldn't coordinate and we couldn't you know get the team to work together when people were being toxic um which is i think the main uh problem that everybody else that like that who isn't a sensitive player has with toxicity uh in overwatch so i think i'm kind of at that point where um Toxicity uh, isn't as big of an issue for me, um, and I found myself getting more upset at losing SR uh, from from these like bad games where people just wouldn't switch or uh, people, you know, were getting uh, were not working together all that well, uh, and I found myself getting more upset about the losses than I did about the actual flaming going on um and i did report a, quite a few people this season and actually uh one of the players that i reported i don't know i don't know who it was blizzard doesn't tell you um but one of the players this season that i reported um and i'm not sure if, if it was somebody i reported for abusive behavior or maybe um a bad battle tag or whatever it was but i reported someone uh on Overwatch, and I actually was one of the ones that did get that email notification from Blizzard, um, thanking me for, you know, reporting the player, and they said they have had action taken against them. Um, now, I think that Blizzard, um, should be a little bit more transparent about, uh, uh about what the punishments are, are that are being handed out. Um, even if they don't tell us who is specifically banned, I do think that they should go into a little bit more detail about the punishment handed out. I think that that would help, um, you know, make the fear a little bit more real for people who are toxic. Um, because even after I, you know, had banned that person or, or had action taken against them or whatever from Blizzard, I've been in other games where people have been toxic and I've said to people you know I've gotten people banned before you know don't think that I can't do it again to you and the response I've gotten is that there's people are still not scared of the banning system because these emails that go out to people um, 
are are sort of mythic and legend uh, legendary and and you know uh, nobody believes in them they think they're all you know just a, a, a fake kind of thing that they don't really happen nobody has actually seen you know the the, uh, the uh, you know response from Blizzard yet I mean, it is happening I know it's happening because Blizzard sent me an email about it um, but as far as the player base goes they're still not scared of it because they don't see the consequences of their and other people's actions from Blizzard. So I think that if these emails could be a little bit more uh, detailed in, in you know the punishments handed out, that people would be a little bit more afraid and less likely to be toxic. Um, but like I said, the, the flaming this season hasn't really bothered me all that much. Uh, I mean, there have been a couple of occasions where it has, um, but for the most part, the flaming uh, has been uh, not the main issue I've had with competitive. Um, and the main issue that I've had is both my performance and everybody else's performance uh, on, you know, uh, on competitive. Now, I think for season seven, what I'm going to do, because this is the main reason why I wanted to make this video, is talk about my experience with season six and talk about what I'm going to do with season seven. Um, season seven, I think, is the season where I have to really try to start improving at the game. Season six was kind of just like, you know, okay, try to learn how to get over the toxicity, not let it bother you, report people better, forget about those toxic people better, and, and you know, improve your end user experience with competitive before you start trying to become a better player. Um, and I think, I think I've done that this season. Um, like I said, I wish I had played more, um, but, uh, I think I was just trying to, you know, mostly find a group because I found that playing with a group gave me better chances of winning. Um, so, unfortunately I didn't play as much as I would have liked. Um, but, uh, overall my season six, um, competitive experience was actually pretty good. I mean, I, I started getting more discouraged when I started dropping down because I looked at my, you know, performance over, like, my main heroes. I think the only hero that I have a, uh, a positive win percentage with is Lucio. And the rest of my healer, uh, the rest of my heroes, uh, including Mercy and Reinhardt and all that, they all have, like, a 40% win rate. So that explains why I've been, you know, constantly dropping... Um, and never a being able to get to uh, get to the next tier, um, I was actually really discouraged how I got so close to uh, to gold. I got like 19. What was it? I have I have my SR open here. It was 1963. I got so close to hitting gold, and then I just started dropping down and dropping down and dropping down. And every time that I would see a little bit of hope of climbing back up again. I fall back down and either end up where I started or end up worse. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I did. I, my my SR wasn't all that great this season, um, but uh, but overall, in, ter in terms of you know the, the games that I've had, most of them were all right. Um, I, I wasn't as discouraged with this season as I have been with previous seasons. Uh, I know a lot of people have been said, oh, this is also the worst season ever. It's worse than Season 5. I don't think it is. I think that Season 5 is still the worst competitive season. Season 6 was a little bit better because I, I felt a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of fear of the toxicity, especially um, uh, in the beginning of the season. I, I felt a little bit of fear of, the, you know, the repercussions of toxic behavior um, in players. That may have diminished over the course of the season, but... Um, but it was certainly there in the beginning, and that led for better. Le that led to better matches. So um, overall, season six was all right. Season seven, like I said, is the year is the season that I'm going to try to improve. Um, I'm going to be recording vods. I'm going to be posting them up on Overwatch University. Uh, I'm going to be um, watching guides and and um, and you know, trying to practice and practice and practice and, and play more. Um, and hopefully um, all that practice will lead to me uh, actually, you know, becoming a better player. 
my my career goal, the thing that I would like to uh, reach for my career, would be uh, platinum. I feel that I'm at least a platinum level player. I can be at least a, a platinum level player um, if I'm, you know, good enough. And uh, that would be my career goal. But I think um, what I'm going to focus on for Season 7 is just trying to improve and seeing how high I can get for Season 7. Um, hitting gold would be would be a big achievement um, if I don't place there already. But um, that's really all I had to say. And I feel my, my cough drop wearing off and I'm about to cough. So I don't want to cough on this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'm Mr. Mercy. Peace, everyone.